Hi, my name is Simon Locke. I'm the founder and CEO of Communications Match. Today I'm with Joe Mandizi. Joe is the editor in chief of Media Post. Joe, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Simon. You have a unique vantage point uh, on the ways in which the advertising landscape is changing. What are the things you think that companies are doing today that may be changing going forward? Well, I think the biggest change that's going to happen is the world's only going to get more and more complex. It's already been com incredibly complex for brands because the media marketplace keeps fragmenting. Thanks to Moore's Law, uh, technology is cheap and people can create new media experiences. Literally, uh, platforms that are dominant and big today didn't even exist 10 years ago, like Snapchat or um, Twitter, things like that. And, you know, tomorrow there'll be even more of those. So I think the main thing that brands have to understand is how to filter out the signal to noise and really get at what's meaningful to reach their consumers. There's always going to be an infinite number of options for brands to communicate to consumers. What they have to do is figure out which ones are meaningful for them. There's been a lot of attention recently focused around the automated placement of um, ads and, and concern by, uh, with, from companies about being placed against the wrong types of content for their brand. What's the future of automation? Well, brand safety has always been a huge issue for uh, agencies and brands, and they were screening TV shows long before digital media came along. That won't stop, but what's happened is because there are so many more media options out there and so much complexity in terms of where a brand's message can show up, human beings can no longer process all those options. So you're going to need some machine learning, some automation, and presumably a lot of AI in the future. The smart use will be the proper use of AI and machine learning to make sure it represents the brand and the consumer connection. The wrong use will be just letting an algorithm run crazy. Uh, if you look at some of the first attempts with AI, Microsoft released a program two years ago called Tay, and Tay was pretty cool, but once they introduced it to Facebook, within a short period of time, it learned to parrot back and mirror hate speech, so they were reciting Nazi slogans and things like that. So obviously that was a noble first attempt, uh, and we're learning what to do and what not to do, but I think the important thing is that brands have to figure out how to use machines and AI for their own benefit. And my last question is, um, what's your sense of the future of things like traditional advertising um, and, and maybe digital advertising? Well, like I said, this always going to be an infinite number of ways that brands could connect with consumers. I think the future is really about creating meaning between consumers and brands. Um, you know, there's something like four million brands in the world today, depending on how you define it. Um, and the average consumer doesn't interact with all those brands. I think the big change with media advertising, whether you call it digital or non-digital, is the concept of experiences. I think what brands have figured out is that they have to figure out ways for a consumer to experience the brand. And it's not always looking at a 30 second commercial or playing a video game. It's going to be different applications and executions depending on what makes sense for that brand and that consumer at that time. But I think this idea of, you know, giving people a reasonable reason to interact with the brand and have an experience with it is going to be the biggest change. Tony, thanks very much indeed.